My name is Deborah Jane Nelson. I am half Scottish, half Ghanaian. I was born in Ghana though. I lived most of my life in Ghana. Then I went off to Coventry University. I actually went to Milton Keynes in UK first to do sixth form. Then I went off to Coventry University to do my first degree. Then I stayed on to do my MBA in international business. I worked in UK for about two years. Then I moved to Ghana in 2009. Between 2009 and 10, I was looking for a job. And whilst I was waiting, I just decided to create something for myself. But I didn't think it was going to become me. I think Think Mahogany is me. Think Mahogany is Deborah Jane. Deborah Jane is Think Mahogany. You know, so I, I never thought for a second that I'm going to be who I am today. I just thought, let me do this on the side whilst I'm looking for a job. I did get the job and I thought that was the answer to my prayer. Where I was working, I used to help with a lot of events, a lot of corporate events for the company. I was doing a lot of marketing for the company in my role. So um, when I left, there was this gentleman who was having an event and he needed help. And out of, out of just word of mouth, he spoke to somebody and somebody said, I know this lady called Deborah, she's very good, she can help you. So he spoke to me and I said, oh yeah, sure, I could help. I mean, I had no fee because at the time it wasn't business. It was just something they saw that I could do something. They approached me and I wasn't doing anything. So I thought, oh, why not? I would help. But I didn't know that was going to be the beginning of this. Um, so I helped him. And at that event, a lot of the guests kept asking, oh, you did a beautiful job. What's your number? Give me your name. Number. So I was giving my name and my number out. And I thought, oh, that's it. So that event was over. And then I get another call like a couple of weeks later that um, African Movie Academy Award Nigeria was coming to host uh, the Academy Awards for 2010 in Ghana and they needed somebody to help. I thought, okay, I mean, this is quite throwing me in the deep end. Just, I mean, that would have been my first main event because the other one I thought was just helping out. I thought, can I do this? But the guy who recommended me is the guy that I did the first event for. That's all you can do. I'm sure it's easy for you. I mean, come on, help them. I said, okay. So they contacted me and then we executed. So I would say that my actual first event was helping the African Movie Academy Award with their 2010 awards that was held in um, Accra, Ghana. And I actually worked alongside a Nigerian company, events company called Open Hands Nigeria. I think my biggest challenge would be satisfying the corporate events. People take weddings as big deals too. I mean, for a bride, her wedding day is, well, the biggest day of her life. I, I always say I get married every weekend because every Saturday I'm at a wedding. I'm doing a wedding. And I am not the type that when I'm doing a wedding, it's just a job, I'm doing it and that's it. I'm actually really involved. I take it as if it was my day, how would I want it to go? So I am very much involved in the work that I do. So along the line, it's not been a smooth sailing road. I've learned from a lot of experiences. I look back at how it started, all the events I started with. I mean. I wish I would have a chance now to redo one of the first events that I did to give those customers a better experience. I named my company Mahogany because I wanted to name my company after a tree. And they were like, why? I wanted to name my company after a tree simply because of the Bible verse, Psalm 1 verse 3. In a summary, it just said that I'm like a tree planted by streams of water. My leaves do not wither. I bear fruit in my season and everything I do shall prosper. So I stood by that. That is what made me name my company after a tree because I believe I am that tree. We want to be the leading provider in creative ideas. That is our main focus, to be the leading provider of creative ideas. And our values um, include being pace setting, to be hard working, to be respectful if i tell you that after every event any picture i put on social media is replicated doesn't that make me innovative some people get upset when they see that their work is being copied some people feel cheated when they see a replica of their work 
It doesn't bother me. It actually makes me think, hmm, I'm doing something. Clearly, nobody copies bad things. I'm doing something that is good. So then why don't I make it even better for the next one? That's one thing. I don't like repeating the same ideas for every event. I think the biggest challenge in this part of the world is managing the human resource. You can have it all mapped out. You can have your plans. It hits execution and it lets you down. Managing people in this side of the world is difficult because I feel like they lack work ethics and um, commitment. They are not loyal. Everybody's in for what to benefit them, not what is in to benefit the company as a whole. You tend to give everybody a chance, or they will learn on the job, they will learn on the job. Initially, I was teaching on the job, and just as they get better, they want to go and start their own. That's the challenge you face. They would be with you, but they don't want to see you do better than them. But they don't realize the sacrifices you've had to make, how hard you've had to work to create the environment that they've come into to learn. They forget that bit. They think they are doing you a favor. I feel really bad that you have to put people in a binding contract, but it seems to be the only way that things work around here. Everybody has a different group of ethics, but the one that I apply in my business is operating in a culture of honesty. Honesty to me is the most important thing. It comes before hard work. It comes before motivation, determination. You just need to be honest. Honesty is what keeps customers. I'm a hustler first, then a dreamer, then an achiever. People would argue with me that I'm wrong, but a lot of people think that success is based on passion. Oh, she's very passionate, she's gonna be successful. How about she's very hardworking, she's gonna be successful. My passion came after I saw the results of my hard work. I am more passionate about my hard work than the dream because I feel like my hard work is what is getting me closer to my dream. I would not start a business just because it looks beautiful when somebody else does it. You don't know what it takes. So if you don't have hard work in you, how are you going to attain what it took for that person to put up the beautiful thing that has attracted you to want to do the same thing? And if you sit back and look at all the successful women, they are the hardworking ones. Achieving a dream is not by counting the hours in a day. You need to work hard. That's it.